Hi, so this is just a quick video on how to crop images in a circle shape using Photoshop 2015 um, and you're cutting the circle shape out of one of your images that you already have. So if you haven't already got your image open, if you open an image up, I'm just going to pick one out of my creative cloud. We'll just go for that one. Um, the first thing we need to do is unlock the actual image. So you can see here with a little lock padlock there, we need to double click. We'll get the new layer box, just click OK. That will unlock the layer. Next thing we need to do is to create a new layer. If you don't know what these um, icons are here, if you just hover over the bottom, it will show you um, and there, create new layer. So then we have layer zero, which is our image layer, which is this one. And we have layer one, which will be our circular. So we go over to uh, this tool here and if you hover over the top it will tell you what it is um, yours might not actually be ellipse if you left click and hold your finger on uh, you'll get a toolbar that comes down and you can pick down there what you want um, which one that you require uh, yours might be on rectangular tool depends on which one you used last so we're going to pick the ellipse tool um, and if we just left click on the mouse and hold um, it will turn into uh, an ellipse or any shape that we can try and get out of it but uh, we are looking for a circle so we delete that and what we need to do is hold on the shift key left click on the mouse drag down to the size that we want and let go that will give us our circle once we have the circle shape we then go down into the layers down at the bottom here and you'll notice this one now is called ellipse we need to drag this ellipse underneath if it's not already underneath the actual image layer which is this one so now we are underneath you can see the circle shape there it doesn't really matter at this point what we need to do then is keep our finger on the alt key on the keyboard and as we go between the two layers you'll notice the hand changes to an arrow and a square box and while it is in the arrow and the square box between the layers we need and i've still got my finger on the alt key we then left click on the mouse then give us our clipping mask which shows us the circle and as long as we have this selected an ellipse one we can go to our move tool and we can actually move it around to where we want it so for example if we wanted to get these cows like that we can then pick them up once you have that like that we then need to crop it because at the moment it is still showing this bounding box around here so we go to the crop tool up here make sure it's cropped again if yours isn't showing the crop tool you might have one of these other selected go to the crop tool grab our sidebars and bring it into the side of our circle it will snap to the edge of the circle once it's all snapped push enter return and there we have our circular shape these um, edges here this is transparent to this checker look that means that the actual image currently is transparent uh, through here but depending on how we save it that will change if it shows transparency depending on how we're using it so we go file export save for web we have an option here it's currently image size this is the current size in pixels I'll resize it to 500 by 500 uh, if we save as a JPEG the transparency got, turns into white block so if we're all going on to um, a background color uh, red it will see that you'll show this white uh, through that but if we save it as a GIF or a PNG then our background color will then go around the edges and fill this transparency color here so if you're looking for the transparency and just want the circle shape you need to save it as a PNG or a GIF okay thank you very much for watching uh, if you like the video uh, please subscribe and give us a like because it does help us create more videos thank you